Thank you very much. <laughs> well, now, this isn't a fashion statement. This isn't a fashion statement. I'm using this scarf for a reason. But uh, before I do, make sure that's exactly what it seems to be. Make sure there's no trap doors, no holes, no mirrors, that the threads don't pull apart for an opening. Now, I'm going to use, along with that, three coins, three silver dollars. But these are really pretty silver dollars. Sometimes people think maybe they're TV magic coins, something like that. Make sure those coins are exactly what they seem to be. How does the scarf look to you? Good. Looks okay. Perfect. And how do the coins look? Jim Danny, okay. No the reason I use this handkerchief is because you can see everything all the time. That's the whole point. You can see the coins. You can hear the coins. You can feel the material all the way around the coins on both sides, on there, on there. But watch the coin in the center of those three coins. All I have to do is shake, and it melts straight through the material by Casper through a castle wall, leaving the other two trapped inside. Go ahead and take a look at that for me, if you would. Okay, that's not a souvenir. <laughs> it looked awful happy for a second. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that's as it seems to be. Nothing wrong with the handkerchief, nothing wrong with the coins. I'll even give you a choice. Which coin would you want to pass through? The coin on the top, the coin on the bottom, which would you prefer to pass through the material? The coin on the bottom. Okay, I'm going to show you both sides before it passes through so that there's no question what's taking place. Watch the coin on the bottom. All I have to do is shake. And just like this, it passes straight through the material, leaving the other one inside. Hang on to that for me if you would. Now you know exactly what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen, you know where it's going to happen, I'll even tell you when it's going to happen. But first I'll encircle the coin with the cloth so that there's no way the coin could get down near the edges to pass through the material. You know what, you know where, I'll even tell you when. All I do is snap my fingers. That's all I do, just a snap. Okay, I didn't say anything would happen. <laughs> Are you right-handed? Oh, you're not right-handed? I'm left-handed. Perfect. May I use your right hand? <laughs> I can need all the advantages I can get. I'm going to place the coin right into your palm. Close your hand around it. Turn your hand upside down. Now you know exactly what's taking place. The coin's inside the middle of the scarf, inside of her hand. Here's the center of the cloth. The coin trapped inside. Here's every edge of the material. No way it could come down near the coin to pass through. But all I do is cast a shadow. Hold on to the coin as the final coin passes through while it's still inside her hand. Yeah. <laughs>